Gaming setup. He just got this new, brand new gaming PC. He's about to uh, set it up here. So, what is it called? Joe's freaking spaghetti. Oh, that's too long. Spaghetti or PC? Joe's freaking PC. Anyway, he's about to name his his beautiful beast. There's Grumpy J. Got Morgan. Thank you guys for joining us. Already got eight likes. That's awesome. We're gonna have a like goal later on. But uh, for those of you who are new to this kind of video, this is the store tour live where we tour the Atlanta Brick Co. and cover all the amazing sets that we have and answer questions and have a great time. So thank you guys so much for joining us. We're going to start walking around and answering questions. See, Jonathan Miller is here. Hello there, everyone. Good to see you, Jonathan. Thanks for joining the chat. There's Bricklore saying, hi, Grumpy. Ads, ads, ads. Sorry, Grumpy Jay. We gotta make the dough somehow. Let's see. T Valkyries here. Animals. Morgan says, Hi, Mark. Good to see you, Morgan. Yes, I am back from my vacations. I can uh, give us a tour of the store again. So here's some dinosaurs over here. We've got Mosasaurs, Triceratopses, Mammoths, T Rexes, lots of dinosaurs. There's Brad P. Dr. Jaja, T Valkyrie. Elliot Productions is here with that very snazzy membership badge. We've got a ton of animals here for T Valkyrie. We've got horses, sheep, pigs, cows. We used to have a goat, but apparently that one's sold. We've got deer, dogs, all sorts of amazing animals. Looks busy, says Dr. Jaja. It is kind of busy today. It's Friday. There tend to be a lot of people shopping on Fridays. Got some camels, bears, big cats. I like those tigers up there. Those friends animal tigers. I think they're from um, uh, Jasmine. From Aladdin. Yes, I bought the goat last week. There you go, t -Valkyrie. I knew somebody bought it. Congratulations on a very cool animal, very rare animal. I wish they had put a few goats in the latest castle set. But yeah, there's our animals. We've got a bunch of them in stock. You can get all these on our website, atlbrick.com. So definitely check them out. All right, I'm gonna probably go over to the Star Wars section. There's Robert, good to see you, Robert. And Chris is busy putting up all these shelves. I might as well cover that really quick. We're expecting, oh, that's, that one's already built. We're expecting a lot more shelving for a lot more sets. We're gonna have those uh, put in all over the store. There's a new shelf up here and here as well. So a lot to be added to the store soon. And the comments are starting to go crazy. I think I saw some Star Wars requests here. I have a bunch of stuff I want to trade in. It's piling up in the corner of my room there you go, Dr. Jaja. You gotta visit the store and trade it in. That's where mine is going. Castle, there you go. Goats and castle go together. And Morgan says, built Star Wars, please. Yeah, let's go look at that, Morgan. Chris Dodden says, hi, Mark. Glad you and Steven made it back safely. Thank you, Chris. Appreciate it. Yeah, we got back safely um, just... When was it? Was it Wednesday? No, Tuesday. We drove home Tuesday. So we're back. How many bricks do you estimate pass through y'all's store every day? Well... Tens of thousands, yeah. <laughs> Would you say so, Grant? Yeah, exactly. Let's see, what's new in built Star Wars, Grant? What are we looking at? A lot. A lot, yep. Uh, let's see. We got a plenty of Dorito fighters for anyone who needs those. Uh, we have this uh, Republic Ooh. ship, or from the old Republic. Yeah. That's a really good one. It is a good one. What's UCS, the price hundred dollars for that one there? That's yeah. pretty good. UCS Luke's land speeder. Nice. Um, some A wings. Some A wings. Board, which is new. Um, we got a droid gunship up, a gunship up there. Bunch oh. of stuff. And all build sets are 20% mm -hmm. off right now, right? Yeah. So. Yeah. Luke's lightsaber as well. Luke's lightsaber, nice. Yeah. Well, thank you, Grant. Of course. Oh, there's an MTT right there, too. Mm -hmm. That's uh, four seventy nine. Pretty pricey, but pretty awesome. You have one of those rolling the town, you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> yeah, the built Star Wars is looking really nice right now. you got plenty of William Falcons, speeders. Oh, there's even an ATT. I think that's the older version. I haven't seen the newer version showing up in the store yet, but we'll get one soon. And uh, for those who are watching, we actually have an interesting like goal today. 
It's the same as most other days. Oh, how much is built Luke lightsaber? Let's check it out here. I'm trying out my new gimbal here. See if this works for us. Two forty nine ninety nine on Luke's. Oh no, that's Yoda's lightsaber. Yoda's lightsaber. Oh, it's Yoda's. It's the same thing. <laughs> same thing. I mean, Luke ended up with it, so. There's Brickfires. Hello, Brickfires. Good to see you. There's R two D two back there. That's the newer one, I think, because it's got the slopes. Very cool. Another MTT. Very nice. This one's two ninety nine, so three hundred. It's a bit cheaper than the other one. I kind of like it. It's a little bit smaller. And you got a clone turbo tank. Man, we've got a bunch of great build sets. If you're looking for built Star Wars, it's all 20% off and it's all really nice. So, great request, Morgan. Thank you for asking to have a look at these today. So, yeah, uh, back to the uh, like goal. If we reach 40 likes in this video, I will put on the Nexonite armor for everyone to see. Right now I just have my Sea Serpent t-shirt, but we can have some very cool, <laughs> very, very cool next to night armor for me to wear if we get enough likes. Don't forget to like that video. Thank you guys that have already liked, so. <laughs> Grumpy J dropping the next to night emojis. Here's our wonderful Harry Potter section with all the wonderful additions. Angie and Randy have made. Video is smoother with the gimbal. That's good. We're trying to have that be the case. Seems to be helping so far. It's a little bit slower, but maybe we'll get used to it with practice. Uh, any more built Avengers Towers? Let's go look for those, Brick Lord. That's a good request. Let's go over to Marvel here. I know there's one up there. So there's a built one right there for $30. It's a really good deal. I don't know if we got any down here. It has been um, about two weeks since I actually worked in the store consistently, so I'm still trying to re-acclimate to all that we have. There's a nice Sanctum Sanctorum there. And I don't see anything else. So there is that one small one up there for $30, uh, Brick Lore. And it's also 20% off, so it's a couple bucks off of that. Got this very nice Guardian ship up here, too. All the built sets, 20% off. You're welcome, Bricklor. Thanks for asking. And somebody reorganized all the sets in Marvel because they look really good. Got two from you last week. There you go, Bricklor. Are you building a large Avengers Tower, Bricklor? That sounds like a project. What kind of Lego castle do you have? Oh, well, I've got several Lego castles. But uh, if we're talking about the store, let's go look at the store. <laughs> That's cool, Brick Lore. You'll have to share some pictures with us once you uh, get it done. Any X-Men Sentinels? We've had those not too long ago, Elliot, but we'll go check on that for us here. Um, castles, castles. We've got King Leo's castle up here at the top. And that doesn't have any figures, but it is really nice. It has all the fabric stuff with it. And the cool raised base plate. That one is 200 and you've got this custom Black Falcon's castle over here. It's very nice, has a bunch of figures. That one's 300. And we've also got a very cool Black Falcon's fortress over here. This one is also 300, but it's basically complete. I think it's just missing the instructions. So that's a really nice castle set. Also got a couple Fright Knights in the back there. Very, very fun, menacing looking sets. A couple of smaller ones down here, some Dragon Masters. Dragon Knights, some Ninja, <laughs> Ninjago said someone. There you go, Lemur Bricks, good to see you. Let's quickly look at Battle Brick because I think someone was requesting that here. And let's ask about, uh, let's check the X-Men Sentinels as well. I think we'll look at Battle Brick in just a second when it's cleared up. Let's look for X-Men Sentinels really quick here. There's not anyone at Marvel right now, so, oops. My camera got stuck here. Getting used to this. Okay, there we go. X-Men Sentinels. There's one down here. Kind of tucked away. I can't see the price. I'm guessing he's 15 or 20. He looks pretty complete. I'd have to have a key to uh, access him. So go ahead and uh, send us a message or let us know in the chat if you want to have a look at him. But looks like we got one of them in stock. 
Let's go look at Battle Brick. And there was one other quest in Jago, I think uh, Lemur Bricks is asking about it. Malister says, do you have any of your castle modulars out on display? Um, not any of my castle stuff, but we will, hopefully sometime in the next month or two, be fixing and replacing that giant castle in the center. So we're gonna be rebuilding that. And it'll look pretty cool. Hello there, Dr. Jar Jar Productions. Dropping the General Kenobi. You are an old one. Yes, I am pretty old. Older than some. Uh, bold. <laughs> I'm bold and old. I like it. Good to see you, Dr. Jar Jar. Thank you for joining us and joining the chat. We've got plenty of Battle Brick. It's been very nicely restocked. I'm not sure who did it. Probably some of uh, Vogan and Jacob working on this together. But it looks really good. Also got some very nice built sets right above it. Got the uh, monster, not monster fighters, excuse me. The Haunted Manor, Haunted House Ride. We've got the Green Grocer. We've got the awesome ATAT -AT and the Statue of Liberty right beneath it. Pretty amazing. So. All right, uh, Ninjago. Let's go look at Ninjago for Lima Bricks. Let's head over there. And if anyone else has any requests, let me know in the comments. Happy to check on stuff for everyone. Or if you have any questions. I know that this weekend I'm going to make Joe watch The Rings of Power on Amazon. That should be pretty fun to watch. Mark, what are your thoughts on the new Black Panther bust? I think it's pretty cool. I think people will definitely buy it. But um, uh, I'm not going to get it because I haven't really been into the Marvel busts as much as some sets. Where are they? We've got a couple of them here. There's an Iron Man. It's kind of like this, but then add a huge, add his shoulders and his arms. So I think it's cool. But um, it could have been a little bit, it could have been a small bus, but it wouldn't be a special. So I think they're trying to make it a more special version of the bus. Pretty pricey, pretty cool. Yeah. It's interesting. Good question, uh, Zach, though. Thank you for bringing that up. Good to see you. Let's see, Grumpy J, the Empire walking through New York. Exactly. <laughs> now, that would be a funny mock, too, don't you think? That'd be pretty cool. Did we already go to sealed Star Wars sets? We didn't really spend too much time on sealed Star Wars, so we'll head over there once we're done touring Ninjago really quick. Colored chrome C-3PO's. We do have those, T-Valkyrie. We'll go look at that once we look at uh, sealed Star Wars. Finally, maybe got all my old classic minifig parts sorted. Assembling minifigs soon. There you go! That's awesome! Classic minifigures are definitely some of the best. Brickfire says it's actually bigger than the Death, than the Darth Maul head. Wow, bigger than Darth Maul. So that's pretty huge. Because Darth Maul is bigger than the busts. So it's got to be a bigger scale. So that's awesome. Yeah. We've got plenty of Ninjago sets right now. More so than usual, I think. I love the Moro dragon there. That's pretty awesome. Got Garmadon's mech. The fire mech. Ninjago does the best mechs, I'll tell you what. Hello from Armarillo, Texas, says Raymond. Good to see you, Raymond. How's the weather in Armarillo, Texas? I just have to ask. I'm always curious to know. Let's see. So, pretty good on Ninjago sets. Let's go look at Ninjago minifigures here. Got some right over here. Got Cole. Jay, Kai, Zane, and some Lloyds. I think we need to restock Lloyds. Look at that. They're pretty light up there. Tell you what. Chris McBricker dropping the Jar Jar emoji. I forgot we even had that. That's great. They're also doing many unwanted Marvel mechs, but it's not like Ninjago. Yeah, I think Ninjago mechs are better because they're just massive. How much are we missing? How much? Let's see. Our mining parts, I'm missing Sensei Wu's hat. Or minifig. That's $15. Yeah, minifig parts. Uh, Sensei Wu's hat, that's not going to be too bad. Uh, depending on the gold or tan version you need, it's probably about a dollar. But uh, for your own safety, keep an eye out for Chris and his Wolf Knight raid. Yeah, that was pretty intense last night. So for those who might have missed it, we had a uh, joy of building. Me and Steven were building the giant 90th anniversary castle. And Chris did a wolf pack raid with his wolf pack shield, and that was pretty intense. Be right back watching the new Lord of the Rings show. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan Miller. It was pretty cool. I saw the first two episodes, but a third episode should have come out recently. I think it would have been today because it's Friday, right? So we'll be watching that. Me, uh, Joe, and probably a few other store employees will be watching that. We'll let you know what we thought. 
It's nice to have you back, but I'll miss, miss seeing Daniel so much. Oh yes, Brick Mom VA. Daniel did a great job while me and Steven were gone, but I'll probably be taking over most of the streams from now on, although I'm sure we'll see Daniel quite a bit, so. It's out now, there you go. Chris will take over the Nexo Castle. <laughs> Chris is welcome to take over the Nexo Castle. Did you see my comment? Oh, I might have Dawson, let me see here. Mark, what do you think about the new Black Panther movie? Oh, I, the trailer looks cool. I will probably have to go watch it. I saw the first Black Panther and it was pretty good. It wasn't my favorite Marvel movie, but it was good. Yes, it came out this AM, good show. There you go, Malister. I thought it was pretty good too, we'll see. By the way, is there going to be an ABC Discord server? That would be fun. Maybe at some point. We probably need somebody to manage it, and I'm, I'm a little busy with stuff right now. We'll see. I will let Chris know in the next manager's meeting that there was a request for a Discord server. Let's go look at sealed Star Wars for Dr. Jaja. Then we'll uh, get on the next request. What is that? Rick Ferris. I hope we see Daniel again. He is a cool guy. Yeah, Daniel's an awesome guy. We'll see him more for sure. Any CMF 23 nights? I wish, unfortunately, Eagle DB. We've got uh, none of those right now, although I'm sure we'll be getting some in soon. Okay, when you go to Sealed Star Wars, can you see if there is an AAT? Mandalorian, Starfighter, Fire Force, Battle Pack, Republic Fighter Tank, and the Armorer's Mandalorian. Oh my goodness. I think we have some of those for you, Dr. Jaja. Let's see. Uh, maybe not. Hold on. The Armorer from the Mandalorian... Not seeing it here. There's five first battle packs. Got some of those. Those are probably retail. You have 30. That's nice. Got Boba Fett's Starship. Wink, wink. Also, an Inferno Squad battle pack. We probably don't have that. That's pretty awesome, but I don't think we have one right now. We do have some Sith Trooper battle packs. Hmm. So, plenty of Star Wars, but maybe not the ones people are looking for. We've got the Mandalorian battle pack right there. Mark, do you think that LEGO would bring out Twin Towers LEGO sets? Probably not. They tend to really avoid anything remotely political, even something like that. So, probably not, but you never know. They do a lot of architecture stuff. It would probably be in that line. Let's see... Yep, not, not seeing some Dr. Jaja was looking for, but we do have a lot of Star Wars right now. I should say a pretty good amount of Star Wars. Also got some behind me here. Let's go look at those really quick. How much of the 501st minifigs? Oh, I'm not sure how much the minifigs are. The sets are $30, which is a pretty good deal for a couple minifigures. Got some X-Wings. What is this one called? Jedi Scout Fighter, that's pretty cool. It's got some very cool Jedi minifigures in there. Oh, this is cool. I like this set. BD-1. I remember playing, um, it wasn't The Force at least. What was that name of the game? Does it have it on there? Jedi Fallen Order, of course. Great game. Cal Kestis is a cool character. Um, I'm geeking out on my Captain Marvel Polly with Samuel L. Jackson. Awesome win on your whatnot. There you go. That's awesome, Chris McBricker. Glad you got that. Yeah, Fallen Order. Thank you, Brick Virus. Very, very cool set. Yeah, BD1. And he's, he's like scale. He's like the right size and everything. So that's really cool. Anyway, we've got that one. It's going to be retail price. $100. Can't beat it. How much is General Grievous? Are we talking the minifigure or the set? I'm guessing you're talking about the minifigure. And I don't think we have him right now. Because I think he would be right there. I'll have to ask uh, Grant. Because he was looking at the minifigures earlier. But let's look at the 501st, see what prices they go for. The old school ones are $25. The new school uh, Jetpack Trooper one, I think that's the new one, right? Yeah, is $9.99. And $7.99, typically, if we have them in stock for just the troopers. But right now, it doesn't seem like we have them. Oh, look, the um, uh, Geonosis Troopers are, I think, only $13.99. That's pretty good. It's a good deal. There's a couple of good prices over there. Yeah, I think the best way to get 501st right now is to grab a couple of these 501st battle packs here. I think we got two, two of them right now. $30. All right, what other requests was I looking at earlier here? 
Dawson says, hope you're having a good day today at work. See you later. Bye. We'll see you, Dawson. Thanks for joining us. How was the first session of the new Lego castle set? It was really good, Raymond. Thank you for asking. Um, it was a lot of pieces. A lot of good stuff. Great techniques. I really like the cave that I was building. It was good. Do you have a blue coat admiral governor in stock? I need a captain on my mock ship your brother's working on. Oh, yes, Malastar. We can go look at that. I gotta... We can give you a sneak peek, maybe. If you it, Are you okay with seeing a sneak peek, Malastar? Can we see Iron Man minifigures? Oh, yes, Brick Bryce. We'll be right there. We'll go check that out. Oh, okay. You're working on Iron Man figures right now, Logan? Let's go look at that real quick here. I'm still putting more out. So you got a couple of the Iron Man versions there. Very nice. And they're gonna, all going to be on our website, right? ATLbrick.com. Because you're just getting ones that we already have online, putting them out. So, yeah. Sweet. Thanks, Bogan. All right, where'd Steven go? He's in the back. He's in the back? Can you get Steven to come out for a second? Any Deadpool or X-Men minifigures? We might have a few X-Men characters, but not any Deadpool, I'm pretty sure. Custom Deadpool. That's right, Michael and Grant. Thank you. Hey, so Malister's in the chat. You want to give him a quick gl glimpse of the ship here? Just hold it up for about five seconds or so. Oh, there you go. So I think I'm going to go with black on the, uh, the portcullises. Mm-hmm. side. Looking pretty epic so far. I'm going to have a working anchor on the top. Wow. And I'm going to work on the cabin here in a second. Mm-hmm. Very nice so far. Looking good. There you go. I actually had an idea for Steven to actually put sails on it. Oh, there you go. That's good. Yep. That looks great. More guns, says Malastar. Yep. More guns? Okay, I'll put more them guns. on the top deck. How about that? Yep. Top deck guns. Work it out. Mm -hmm. There you go. More guns. Oh, Brickfire says, hi, Chris. Yeah, T. Valkyrie says, sweet ship. Yeah, Steven's going to make sure that is the coolest looking ship ever, Malastar. Let's see here. We've got a couple new school blue coats over here. They're going to go anywhere from like $11.99, $24.99. Up here, you've got some of the old school blue coats. I don't see a price over the governor figure. That's weird. I think he is a little bit more, though. The red coat governor figure is $59.99. I'm guessing the blue one is pretty similar. I have, a, have absolute faith in the Brickmasters. There you go, Malister. Thank you. Lord of the Rings and Hobbit sets. Let's see. What is uh, Dr. John? The comment went away. Lord of the Rings and Hobbit set prices. I wonder if they went up. They might have gone up a little bit. They were already pretty expensive, so maybe they got up a little bit. Let's go look at, um, is Angie working today? Raymond, uh, yes, she is. I think she's working in the back as usual. Get Chris to show us new stuff. <laughs> we can, Jerry Houston. Well, let Chris know. Let's see here. Let's look at Lord of the Rings really quick. Unless we have to submit the ship to, to an earthquake challenge. <laughs> Steven's actually working hard to make sure it's pretty sturdy. He uh, put some really long axles through the uh, mast, so you can just pick it up by the mast and it'll stay together. So it's pretty sturdy for you, Mouser. Hopefully it will um, not fall apart on us. But where was it going? Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings over here. You might have... We just got a few Hobbit sets left over. No more Lord of the Rings, sadly. I see some gaps in the Lord of the Rings section. We do have a couple Lord of the Rings figures left, though. Can you ask Angie what she came up with for her Lego village? Oh, so Raymond, next Tuesday, we have another long update video coming up for you. You can see all that Angie and uh, Randy and I giving Angie some advice. It's going to be really good. It should survive battle. More guns. I like like ridiculous level of guns. I got you, Malister. We'll add more guns. I'll be sure Steven is aware of that. Do you have Wolverine from 2012 and the comic version with the brown outfit? Oh, I don't think so, but we'll we'll check on it here. There's some of our Marvel figures. There's oh oh oh, hold on. Forty nine ninety nine, and it's Wolverine right there. That's pretty amazing. I think that's the one Brian O'Connor was asking about. Let me double check. Yeah, 
That might be it. I don't know which Wolverine figure is which, but that one might be the one you're looking for. Mark, will you buy the Sanctum? Probably not. I don't usually buy Marvel sets, but it is pretty cool. All right. Yeah, there's some cool figures up here. You got Loki and other stuff. We've got that one. He's he's pretty expensive, unfortunately, but he is. He does look like he's in great shape with all the brown accessories. So very nice. So in a mock like the Winter Village, you can add many references, and I have some in mind. Oh, there you go, Brickfires. Let us know. I'm making a TF2 Pyroland mock. How much are Unikitty minifigs? Let's go look at that. I know Nexus Zach loves Unikitty minifigures, so he'll he'll enjoy this. Let's see here. My friend is giving me Helm's Deep for free. I tried to give like $200, but he denied it. I'm so lucky. Oh, the ace, you are lucky, Dr. Jaja. That's awesome. Oh, we've got some Unikitty figures up here. Angie recently restocked all the Lego Movie figures, and they look amazing. So you've got some Unikitty on the top shelf up there. Got Angry Kitty, Space Kitty, Business Kitty, Very Angry Kitty, Party Kitty, Puppy Corns. So many figures, and they range at around $5.99, $9.99, $7.99, $17.99 for Business Kitty. I think she came in a bigger set. The most expensive is that Angry Kitty at the top. That one's $49.99. Very interesting. So most of them are pretty affordable, but some of them are cheaper as well. I would check on atlbrick.com, see if they're on there. If they're not, let us know, and Joe can get you some options. There's some more figures down here, too. Not even Daniel was this cruel. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Zach. I know you just you just love Unikitty figures. I gotta call you out on it. I hope everyone is touring that like... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I hope everyone is getting that like button. Yes, so we're at 22 likes. We need 40 likes, I think I said, in order to break out the next day armor, because right now I am without armor on. Let's see if I can... There you go. Just my t-shirt. So we gotta we gotta get more likes, guys, because I got just my World Serpent t-shirt on. Available on my website, markofalworth.com. All right. I'm an angry kitty collector. There you go, Christmas Bricker. Chris McBricker. Not Christmas Bricker. There's Alan. Good to see you, Alan. Thanks for joining the chat. We were just looking at Unikitty figures. They're in the Lego movie figures in our store. Got a couple cool Lego movie sets tucked away here as well. I love that sea cow. That's pretty amazing. $300 and you've got a gigantic sea cow pirate ship. Really cool set. All right, another friend gave me a couple Lord of the Rings figs and Shelob, but we traded. I gave him a couple Star Wars figs. Oh, there you go. Trades are cool too. We do that at the store all the time if anyone's interested. Brian O'Connor says, it's good to see you back, Mark. Daniel was a pretty good stand-in while you were gone. Oh, there you go, Brian. That's a good way of looking at it. Yep. Let's see here. And I miss with Daniel a lot when he was filling in. There you go, Nexus. You got to keep him honest. For sure. On your Michigan trip, did you meet up with Daryl uh, Begins Bricks? I don't think so, Robert. I don't think I, I met him. It, it, uh, Bevins Bricks. Spell check. Oh, um, I'm not sure, Robert. I don't think I did. Maybe I, maybe I bumped into him. It's hard to say. I, I said hi to a lot of people. Let's see. Comments, comments, comments. Is it possible to get custom minifig torso prints? Um, we're, we don't have any way to print them, um, so it's probably better to look up other sites. I know there are websites that do it specifically, and then you could probably contact other printers and custom minifig people to do it for you. We're just not equipped with it. We don't have any minifigure printing facilities. So. so it's safe to say that my Lord of the Ring collection is growing a lot. There you go, Dr. Jaja. Any sealed architectures less London, Paris, and or Venice? Great question, Elliot. Let's go look at that. So we've got some Venice over here. However, it's not sealed. Let's look for some sealed Venice for you. There's, I can't pronounce that. It's that museum in France. The Louvre? The Louvre? Louvre? I'm dyslexic. Anyway, we got that one back there. It's pretty awesome. It's probably pretty expensive too. Hold on. One seventy nine ninety nine. Had to look underneath it. Sorry, guys. Probably making people dizzy at this point. But uh, let's see. Falling water. 
There's the Lego house in Billund, New York City. So not a lot of sealed architecture, plenty of built architecture. But that saves you a bunch of time and it's 20% off, so there you go. I got to see, what was that? To the end of the month, yes. It's not for eternity. How much is the Trevi Fountain? I have it and it's in the corner of my room waiting to be given to ABC, there you go. We have ours for sale for 129, so might have to trade yours in. And then 20% off. <laughs> Daniel is a good stand when he isn't tripping on li little Lego bricks and selling his shoes. <laughs> of course. Did Joe do something to his glasses? I didn't see him with them on the castle set build. So, uh, Raymond, Joe doesn't usually wear glasses except for protecting from blue screen. So he's probably doesn't need them all the time. So he must have just felt like not wearing them. Let's see. Rip Nexo Tombstone was funny. Love the new shirt. Oh, thanks, Chris McBurker. Yes, the new t-shirt is awesome. I don't know if we have any around to show everyone, but they're pretty amazing. CK K-Town Bricks, they might custom print. Yes, T Valkyrie is right. Uh, K-Town Bricks is a bunch of medieval and historical printed pieces for minifigures. So definitely look them up. Maybe they would do customs. Do you guys remember Wreck-It Ralph? It's an underrated masterpiece. Yes, it is Brick Virus. That's one of my favorites. The sequel wasn't quite as good, but the original was very good. I, yeah, that was a great movie. Do you have the Infinity War Bricktober pack? I'm not sure, Brian O'Connor. Let's go look. Probably not. Grant's giving us the probably not. So let's, let's go check on that for everybody. We've got a bunch of new lights added to the store here, too. we got all these custom lights. 99 cents a bag in some cases. So definitely keep an eye out for those. If you need any lights for your project, we can help you out. All right. Bricktober packs, not seeing it. We need to restock some of our big figs, too. Most of our hulks are gone. I went to your store a month ago. It was cool. Oh, thanks, Alan. That's great. Have you shown the top shelf sets? No, I haven't, Raymond. We should go do that next. Any new Ninjago in case? Not a lot right now, Ice Storm. There is some, but not a ton. So we got some cool things. Some mechs, some vehicles. I do like that skeleton truck. It's pretty cool. So a couple good sets for sure. We've got some uh, some more things coming in for Ninjago. More stuff coming in for Ninjago? Right, we got another one of these. Nice. Um, another one of those. The dragon. The little dragon guys. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty more in the box over there on the counter. Gotcha. Thank you, Andy. Nexo Army Assemble. What are we doing that for, Nexo? Is that I mean, we almost got 30 legs. You have to get to 40. I don't think you guys can get to 40 today. That'd be crazy. Let's go look at Top Shelf. Chris McBricker says, Nexo Knights, Nexo Knights. I still love the trans parts, even though they don't match. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they don't. The orange colors can be different colors sometimes. Oh, do that again, Joe. Oh, too late, you already dunked it. <laughs> he can't reach it. Oh, he's got it. Good grip. Amazing. That's art. Thank you, Joe. Everybody drop your Joe emojis in the chat. Alrighty. Top shelf. There's 40 in the chat. Smash the like button. Exactly. You guys could get 40 likes instantly if everyone stopped and liked it. So. Hey, look at all those Joe emojis. That's great. Thank you, guys. Alrighty. So, we've got a space shuttle, a Technic digger. We've got the old R2-D2. We've got Elsa's ice castle. We've got the Volkswagen Beetle. We've got the Dino Attack helicopter, the Minecraft Village, the Rancor Pit from Star Wars, the Millennium Falcon, Lego City Airport. Wait, why is that up there? Michael, how much is the Lego City Airport? Bionicle, please. We'll go check it out, Zion Cinema. Thank you for joining us. 400 for the airport? Yeah, I can see why it's up there. That's expensive. All right. 
You've got the Palace Cinema, very beautiful modular. You've got the motorized walking AT-AT. you got the buildable SpongeBob. You've got the Simpsons House, the former sets. Some Royal Knights Castle sets. You've got the DeLorean. And you've got the Imperial TIE Fighter. The Town Hall. The Cafe Corner and the Boutique Hotel. Let's go around the other side here for more views. This part, I don't know what this is. No problem, Zion. School comes first. We get it. How much is the Weasley Wizard Wheezes store that was on the counter? Oh, I need to check on that for you, Barbara. Hold on one second. We got Rock Raiders, Insectoids, Jurassic World, more Technic, got the Bookshop, Monster Fighters, Winter Village, and Falling Water. We've also got a little bit of Pirates and Ninjago in between. And somebody said uh, something about the... The Weasleys. Something Harry Potter. Not over here. Yeah, I think it was was it on the counter or. We're looking, guys. Hold on. I think Barbara was asking about it. It was something Harry Potter. Maybe she was referring to one of these buildings here. Hmm. Maybe it was in the Halloween section over here. Let me go look at that. The Harry Potter section is way in the back. Yep, we gotta go look at the Bionicle section for Zion Cinema, too. We got a new Halloween section up here for the upcoming Halloween holiday. Randy's been working tirelessly on this. Alright, let's go look at uh, Bionicle for Zion Cinema here. Mark, have you ever visited Europe? If yes, which countries? So, I have briefly stopped in Germany, the Netherlands, I spent a couple days in Italy, and I also visited Denmark for about a week, so it was very... It was very different from the United States, though. There's a lot more people walking so much. We drive a lot of cars in the United States, so... Very different, but very cool. We've got some cool Bionicle sets here. Dr. Jodger says, hey, Mark, can you tell Joe that I'm getting Helm's Deep for free, including the figs? <laughs> uh, I'll let him know. He might be a little grumpy. He might be almost as grumpy as Grumpy Jay, which would be pretty grumpy, just saying. So quite a few Bionicle figures here. A lot of Hero Factory here as well. That? Is that new? $200? I feel like that's new. Maybe it's not. Pretty awesome stuff. It's in pretty good shape. Sometimes the Bionicle section is just wiped out, but today it's not too bad. Ashley is asking about Lego Dimensions. Let's go look at those. Grumpy J, hello from Armorello, Texas. And I have to go now. Oh, we'll see you, Raymond. Thanks for joining us. Yes, Ashley, let's go look at Dimensions for you. Good, good request. So here we have all of our Dimensions sets. They used to be over where we put Lord of the Rings stuff. All the way over to some Harry Potter stuff here. So plenty of Dimensions sets. Let's look at some of the Dimensions figures we have. A couple here, most of the main characters. Some of the side vehicles. And over here, We've got a few more Dimensions packs, different themes. Shima, Benny, Ninjago, Lord of the Rings. Bunch of cool stuff. But all that can be found on our website as well. If you go to atlbrick.com, you can see all of that we have on Dimensions and more. Let me go back through the comments really quick, make sure I haven't missed anything. We just checked out Bionicle. Do you have the Ewok Village? We don't have the Ewok Village, Raymond. Sorry about that. Weasley Wizard Weezes store that was on the counter. Oh, I think somebody might have bought it, Barbara. That's, that's That could be what was going on. Daniel asked the exact same question on the Tuesday about the airport. That makes sense. A Technic Digger, lol. Yeah, that's what it is. Alrighty, yeah, we're caught up on questions. Sweet. We go to the bottom. 
So much, yes. OG stuff. We can look at that. Mommy. A man that's sus. Mommy. Ready? I entered a ATAT and Crystal King's Temple giveaway. That sounds pretty cool, Big Bars. Hopefully you get it. Well, I know one thing that's pretty OG. You got all the OG space section here. All the old space minifigures. You got Futron, Insectoids, UFO, Space Police, Unitron, Ice Planet, Spirus, Explorians, Mars Mission Rock Raiders, Power Miners, Aqua Zone, whole bunch of stuff. You've got Rock Raiders, Mars Mission, Spirus, Mtron, Roboforce, whole bunch. Do you have the Stay Puff figure? We might have him. I'll have to check on that. Do you have the Hulk minifigures that came in the poly bags? We should have those brick fires. Let me go check over with Marvel. Will M says, Oh, hi, Mark. Good to see you, Will M. Do you have Darth Revan? Uh, I don't think so. We got one in not too long ago, and one of our employees bought him right away. Sorry, guys. That's kind of how it goes. The cool stuff sells fast. All right, let's look for Stay Puffed for you guys here. We'll ask um, Joe should know. Grant, you probably know this. Do we have the Stay Puffed minifigure from Ghostbusters? We might. Maybe? Dimensions? Okay, I'll go look at Dimensions. Okay. And then, uh, do we have the Hulk minifigure that came in the little poly bag? Would Grant be, uh, excuse me, Vogan be working on that? Uh, this one? Let's see. That might be it. Here, let me see. Oh, there's, another one. there's one that's kind of a bright green color, too. That's, 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 that's here. Yeah, these are the two that came in the poly bag, I think. How much does this one go for? Uh, both of them go for 35. 30 to 35? Sweet. Thank you. Thank ah. you oh, there he is. It's like the trio, the terrific trio. Yeah, oh, there you go. The first trio. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you guys. I'll let you put the bag. Yeah. Available on our website. Available on our website, atlbrook.com. There you go. Travertine is here. Hey, y'all. Liking the cowboy hat emoji, too. And then Zion Cinema says, Spooky, scary skeletons. Send shivers down your spine. I want a both for customs. There you go. Yep, we got him. A man says, you can uh, check him out on our website. Dane Cargus says, Hey, Mark, it was great to see you in Utah. There you go, Dane. Glad you guys were able to stop by Brick Slopes. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, we had a great time. Utah is a beautiful state. Very worth visiting. Oh, we'll see you later, Zion. Thanks for joining us. And Ironia says, hello from Sweden. Thank you for joining us from Sweden. What time is it in Sweden right now? What is it like in Sweden? Is it is How's the weather? Is it starting to get cold for you guys? I have so many questions. Yeah, so this is the new Halloween section, for those who don't know. Randy put all of her cool Halloween sets. I love that ghost train. That's really nice. Oh, here we go. There's Shelob. That one's $49.99 for a built one. And you got the little spiders, too. Very cool. Yeah, so if you're looking for spooky stuff, we got it. 10 Celsius. That's pretty cold, right? Yeah. Woo! Sounds like it's cold in Sweden right now. There you go. I barely know what Celsius is like because we use Fahrenheit over here in the United States, but that sounds like it's pretty cold. We've got some cool military sets and minifigures in stock too. So if you have any soldiers to fill your battlefield, let us know. You're also going to our website, atlbrick.com. Kicks Mix is howdy from New Mexico. There you go. What's the weather like in New Mexico? Yeah, 50 Fahrenheit's pretty cold. Thank you, Morgan. Mighty Micros. Let's go look at Mighty Micros, actually. That's a great request. How is the gimbal working for everybody? Is the, the camera seem smoother? We're trying to improve it for people since we're doing a lot of handheld. That did get wobbly. At Morgan is smart. Yes, Morgan is very smart. He wins a lot of trivias on uh, our Thursday uh, 6 6.30 p.m. Joya Building. 
a lot smoother. Oh, that's good, Robert. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. it. From what the film that I was able to do with it, it did pretty good. Hey, Mark, you should visit Greece someday. Spring would be the best season. There you go, Brickfires. I will have to visit Greece. I definitely want to visit Athens and see the Parthenon. It's warm but cold at night now. There you go. That's good. New Mexico's pretty cool, pretty arid place, too. <laughs> Morgan says, no, Dr. Jaja, Siri is smart. That's a good point. So we've got a couple of mighty micro sets here. You've got uh, Captain America and Red Skull. You've got Thanos and Iron Man. You've got, oh, this is the uh, Nightwing versus the Joker. These are all great uh, figures, too. What you can do is you can um, put a normal minifigure legs underneath, and it becomes a normal minifigure. It doesn't have to be a micro figure. There's the Spider-Man one. That's cool. You got Star-Lord. So pretty cool. Here's a big request. Star Wars minifigures. Phase 1 regular camo troopers. Oh, Phase 1 regular camo troopers, ARF troopers, bomb squad, and thir three 30 second troopers. Tell you what, Dr. Jaja, we'll just go look at all the troopers and see what we got. And then Kix Mix is also asking for a Phase 2 Captain Rex. So we'll go look at that in just a moment here. Excuse me. All right. Do you have the OG Spider-Man? We've had him not too long ago, but we might be sold out right now. We can check for you guys. All right. So I don't see any camo troopers. I don't see the OG. Oh, no, here's the phase ones. Here we go. So those are pretty cool. Um, there's a bunch of troopers here, and I'm not even sure which some of the lists were. But we don't have the Phase 2 Captain Rex right now, because he'd be right in here, I imagine. Custom Star Wars minifigs. Oh, right! Well, T. Valkyrie was asking about... Or may, might have been T. Valkyrie. Was asking about the chrome... Colored chrome C-3PO's. So we've got some of those here. And they're pretty cool. They're also pretty expensive, but pretty cool. They're usually about $100. Because somebody went to all the trouble to put chrome paint on all of them. I love those silver ones. Those look really nice. That red one's looking kind of Sith. You got pink, orange, the original gold. Very, very cool. Anyway, someone was asking about those earlier. Sorry, I forgot until now. <laughs> All right, let's go look at custom Star Wars. Someone was asking about that just a second ago. I think we've got some custom Star Wars figures over here. $2,000 Mando, there you go. So we've got our custom Star Wars, you guys are good. We've got custom Star Wars figures right here. Oh, they are from Big Kid Bricks. And we're a reseller of his, so you can get a lot of the figures here that might be out of stock on his website. So people often check our website after they check Big Kid Bricks to get some figures. There you go. Those are all on atlbrick.com or bigkidbricks.com. There's Miss Bricks. Good to see you. Thanks for joining the chat. Mark, my offer's still online. Two legs for your castle. Sounds like a real uh, rare opportunity. <laughs> Brick virus, I think you need your legs. I think you don't want to trade your legs for my castle. What would I do with your legs? Put them on display. Put them on display? That sounds very morbid. All right. Dr. Jaja had a great request. He said, do we have any plants? We've got seaweed coral. We've got palm leaves. We've got plant leaves, basically oak tree or deciduous trees. We've got grasses. We've got bamboo stalks, pine trees, bushes, vines, trees, all sorts of amazing pieces. Got some fall leaves, some broadleaf stems, and large palm leaves. These should are these on our website yet or no? No, none, none of the plants are on the website yet. However, if you're looking for individual plant pieces, send us a message and we can pull some out for you. People say Legos are for babies. Me, how come it says no three-year-olds? Hmm, exactly. Yeah, I think Lego has been appealing to adult builders a lot more lately. A lot of these sets up here are going to be 16 plus 
or even 14 plus. So yeah. Brick first, are they printed legs? <laughs> Kicks Mix asks, is there any Jurassic Park? Let's go look for that. I think we have some in the back here. Let's weave through all of our stuff we have here. So over in the back we have Jurassic, oh there's Michael. Okay. What you doing Michael? We're gonna follow you. Okay, where are we going? Going to Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Uh, Jurassic World. Yep. Let's go. Follow me, follow me. Michael is a great tour host. Guess what, we really have little, little Jurassic World. We little have pocket. Some. We yeah. have some. Um, some little, good sets. Little build sets, but we have some newer, some little older That's sets. Jurassic Park. That's classic, that's good. That's a good set. Yeah. It's a, we have a little, but it's good. Yeah, it's very good. What's the price on that bad boy? 80. 80? Not bad. 80, yeah. 80 it. for the original figures? That sounds like a great deal. Very. Well, thank you, Michael. I'll let you get back to whatever you're doing. I wasn't doing Okay. Well, thank you for the help. I, I was looking at this awesome NTT that's 20% off. I know. All the build sets are 20% off. Yeah, these are all our Jurassic World, Jurassic Park sets. And we've got a couple of them. They're very nice. Those dinosaurs, though. Super pricey, super cool. Put them on the shelf to collect us just like the castle. <laughs> Hello, Grumpy J. Hope you are grumptastic. Absolutely. I know what I'm getting. Where are the Chrome C-3PO's on the website? Oh, they might not be on the website, T-Valkyrie. Let me uh, tell Joe. Or you, if you want to send us an email, Joe can give you a uh, list and prices. Oh, excuse me. Here's all of them here. They range from about $100. Some of them are a little bit more. Some are $130. Like the pink ones are $130. But most of them are $100. But yeah, check them out. They're pretty awesome. Got the Jurassic Park T-Rex breakout. There you go, Kicks Mix. That's awesome. What is your favorite minifigures from Marvel? That's a good question, Alan. I do like a lot of the Iron Man figures. But I do like Wolverine, too. Yeah, I would probably call it T-Valkyrie. That's probably the best way. Spider-Man looks pretty cool, especially with that black outfit. That Wolverine figure looks pretty dope. What's the most OG minifigure? Ooh, probably the old castle figures. We'll have to go look at those in a second. But yeah, there's some nice ones. I like uh, most of the Spider-Man figures looking good too. <laughs> the Night Monkey. Very, very funny. Green Goblin looking good. How much are those Star Wars buildable figureheads? Oh. Just a couple bucks each if you want one, Dr. Jaja. -Ja. They're pretty uh, morbid if you ask me. So. Let's go look at the castle figures over here. So the most OG figures that we have here are going to be these old castle figures. They came out in 1978 and 1979 for the original castle set. So they are very, very cool and pretty expensive. But yeah, all the castle figures are pretty cool. We've got a whole bunch of them. Daniel's been working on them. Hopefully they are able to put them online soon. We will see. So I want the legs from the Green Hulk for a No Way Home Green Goblin. And the torso from the Olive Green Hulk for the Lizard from No Way Home. Oh, there you go, Brick Price. Those are pretty expensive, though. You cruel bricks. Those body bodiless heads. Oh, no. Well, so we found the heads and no pieces to put them on. So we had to do something with them when we just stuck them up there. So sorry, sorry, Grumpy J. But uh, I love Castle, so do I, Dr. Jaja. -Ja. Corey says, hey, Mark, do y'all have any of the new Lion Knights? I wish we did. We do not. But we have all the old Lion Knights. If anyone's interested, they're going to be on that second row back there. I got a bid on a whatnot for a Cloud City Boba. There you go. Cloud City Boba Fett's pretty awesome, too. He's very expensive. I can't wait for the Morbius set. Oh, I remember seeing the rumors for that, Alan. That should be pretty fun. When you and Steven started building the new castle, I got nostalgic and I had to buy my yellow castle. So much fun. There you go, yes. The yellow castle is the OG, for sure. That is the most classic of all LEGO. What's the Black Forceman going for? Pretty expensive. I think he's in the $100 range. We'll go look at it really quick for you. Travertine. Jerry Houston says Wolfback, yes. Wolfback is pretty awesome. 
Let's go look at it real quick here. So the Black Forester, oh, he's only 69. He's only $70, not too bad. And we've got two of them. Even less if you don't have the Black Feather. You got the Wolf Pack as well. They're gonna be $20 each, pretty expensive. You got the Black Forester, not as bad as I was thinking. Most of the Foresters are $30, but that one happens to be 70, so. Not too shabby. Alrighty, we have five minutes left. Just a few more questions available. Then we're going to be ending the stream for the day. What are you guys looking for here? Those black feathers are crazy expensive? Yes, they are. Any Republic gunships? Do we have any Republic gunships, Grant? Not that I know of. Sad. I need plumes for my foresters. Absolutely. I might hit you up on payday. Sounds like a deal, Travertine. That sounds good. Mark, want to hear a joke? What do ninjas say when they cross the road? They say, ninja go! Oh my goodness, that's so cringe. Brick virus, why are you telling me these cringe jokes? What is the purple building next to the Ferris wheel on the counter? Oh, let's go look. Next to the Ferris wheel. Oh, that is. That must, that must be the one you were talking about, Barbara. You spotted it. I didn't see it. Let's see. That is going to be... That is the Weasleys. That is $200. That's part of the Diagon Alley set, I believe. Weasleys, Wizard, and Wheezes. That's right. You're right, Barbara. Thank you for pointing that out. Mark, Stage, Fosco. I don't know what, I don't know what that means. Tell Joe what I told you to tell him earlier. I'll tell him, Dr. Jaja. What are the, are the life-size Lego minifigs for sale? Oh, oh, the big one? That's Bricky Bobby. And he's probably too expensive to sell. He'd be a lot of money. So many pieces. That one you passed with the blue shirt. Oh, the, let's see. Oh, uh, the one on the top? Right here? Oh, oh, there's, there's a little one up there, way up there. That one? Above Grant. Yeah, let me go over there. Only got a few minutes left. Oh, I'm making people dizzy. Okay, hold on. There you go. This joke was used on the show. There you go. The one you passed with the blue shirt. OMG, thank you, dear. You're welcome, Barbara. Thank you for pointing that out. We didn't see it at first. My bad. All right, let's look at up here. Oh, oh, oh I'm lost. Hold on. Starting to run out of battery, I think. There we go. So this one's pretty cool. This is Bricky Jimmy. That's what we called him. He looks pretty majestic up here, not gonna lie. He is $400, so he is for sale. Plus 20% off. Very nice. There was a castle here, and it's now sold, so I'm a little sad, but Bricky Jimmy's cool nonetheless. Sorry, I think my gimbal's starting to run out of juice here. Hold on. There we go. A little closer, easier to handle. All right. So do you have the Marvel set with the Red Skull submarine and the Sand Green Iron Man? I don't think we have the set. We have a couple of the regular Iron Man. Just the Iron Man, gotcha. Gotcha. Grumpy Jay giving us the barf face. Why are you giving us that? What, is it something I said? Probably. Grumpy J dropping all the next to night emojis. We have too many next to night emojis. I need to trade out some next to night emojis for actual employees. Steven needs an emoji, guys. Just saying. Okay, 40 seconds, guys. 40 seconds. We're about to head out. We're getting kind of busy in the store. Can you tell Joe that I'm getting Helm's Deep? Oh, yeah, yeah. So Dr. John is getting Helm's Deep for free, Joe. How do you feel about that? That's awesome. It's good for him. There you go. Is Lego DC dead? That's a question up for debate, Alan. I don't think it is. I think they've had better years, but I think that it's not doing good. Give that man a better chair. We probably should, Ballister. That's a pretty... Uh, oh, no, he might, he might be talking about Steven. Steven, Steven likes working on uh, stools. 
Anyway, he is doing the Lord's work. There you go, Alistair. Jerry Houston, peace. Justice for Steven. Hi, Joe. All right, we're at 60 minutes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will be live streaming again next Tuesday, next Wednesday, next Thursday, next Friday. So tune into all those. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye-bye.